Hello again, this is Marcelo. Today I'm going to be doing project color problem number 11. This one is given uh, this large grid of 20 by 20 numbers. You need to find the largest product uh, of four GC numbers in different directions. They say up, down, left, right, or diagonally, but we can consider just really right or down or diagonal, both down, right, and up and so to get started here, I'm using Python, but you can use whatever programming language you want. Uh, once again, let's kind of do similar to what I did the last time. So we start with an input of just a large string of numbers. And here we transform that into a nested array with lists so that you can just... So we want to split here something like the each row so row dot split and then you want to split so the row should be the input dot split off with uh, line terminations and the row that split should just split on spaces. Oops. And if we run, and let's just print the i here just to see that it works. Uh, this should be cell in the row split. So now that we have our matrix, yeah, let's actually change the value here so that it makes more sense. I'm going to want to loop through uh, the length of the matrix and then the length of the row. So we do something like the range of the length of M of I. And here for each, we just get the maximum of the up, down, left, and right for each cell, which uh, first we have to check if it's valid, because if we're looking at, let's say, the right of the last cell, then we know that it's not valid, and then if we're looking down as well. So if it's valid, then we calculate it. If it's not, then uh, we just return a zero. And now we just need to create a function to make it valid for that. Uh, let's store the length of the matrix in a variable here and replace the code here with the same length as well and uh, what we want to do is create a function that is valid to just make it uh, sure that it doesn't try to access any out of bounds values and the idea here is that we're just going to return if the values of i and j are between our legal bounds so between minus one and the length of the matrix and since it's a square matrix, we can make sure that it's uh, the same length for uh, both the columns and the rows. So now all we need to do is uh, we start with a value of zero. You know it's uh, zero because uh, all of our numbers are positive. And then after that, so we just check if each of our di directions, so either down, right, up diagonal or down diagonal is valued. The value is uh, an acceptable value. It's not out of bounds. Uh, and then if it is, then we calculate it. If it's bigger than the answer, we return the answer. So here we have the down direction, which is just uh, increasing the rows, and then the right direction, which is increasing just the columns. And then the down diagonal, which is increasing both the rows and the columns. And then the up diagonal, which is decreasing the rows, but increasing the columns. And if it is, uh, we are just going to calculate a button here. Let's call it down uh, for that specific i and j. And kind of do the same here for uh, all of these. So if p is down, or if p is right, or if p is the down, diagonal or if p is the up diagonal and then if it is if once you calculate that if it's largest than our current tensor then 
we assign the answer to B and we just oops and we just repeat the same for each of these values so now all we need to and at the end we just print the answer so now we need to do is uh, implement these which are pretty similar methods so to get started here so the down method of i and j uh, the down direction you just return the value of m and then you increase the rows so it starts at i j and then multiply by i plus one and j and you do the same thing for i plus two and i plus three and you want to repeat the same for all of our uh, other four directions so for right instead of increasing the i we want to increase the j instead and we are increased we're gonna get the further columns and for the down diagonal we want to increase both so at the same time so i and both i and j and for the up diagonal we want to decrease i while increasing j so getting the higher row but the lower column so i think this should be enough if we try and running this we get the right response Again, pretty straightforward. Uh, we could have optimized this a little bit, maybe not need this function, but I feel like it gets it a little bit more formative this way. Uh, for now, that's all. Um, if you liked it, please like and subscribe to the video, comment if you want to see any other kinds of problems here. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the